white men that have literally had children by black women but can't stand black people. Strange situation if you chose to marry a black woman, have children with a black woman, and hate black people, and say the n-word. I don't know how often this happens. I have not seen any examples of this. But what I have seen is black people go online and say that they are in a relationship with a white man and then continue to call white people these very creative names that they make up. Bleach demon and obviously hate white people. Just don't date people that are racist. Because y'all been doing this since since slavery and even before. Bruh, I love a girl which runs her mouth. I love a girl which just runs her mouth. You're like, shut the up. My God. And, and if it's a white woman which is running her mouth, I'm kidding, I'm joking. I'm just joking, God. Don't cancel me, please. I wanna keep my YouTube channel, please. I just started. I just, I'm like, please don't, don't. Going on a date with a woman from every state. And let me just show you why he's getting a lot of hate. Oh my God. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> oh my God, never attack a woman's appearance. Don't do it, guys. Don't. I know like you wanna get the jokes off, but you just, like you wanna, listen, there's a reason why I turn off my phone, I go to sleep just because bruh, women, when, they, when they're emotional, ah, you're like, oh my God, like. <sighs> that he's going on so many dates. Yeah, I mean, he likes white women. If he was dating only black women, would you have a problem with it then? Black people need to date their own species. Species? Species is a little wild. Species is a little wild. So this is a white content creator. And you know, the thing which I think is very interesting about this is just, I'm gonna give you my black perspective, but then again, I think it's a little bit, it's a little bit different from all the others. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. Okay, let's, let's, let's press play. Let's, let's clicky. Shall we watchy? Watchy clicko clicko watchy. Black people, guys and goddesses, date your own species, you feel me? White women, if they date a black man, they're wrong. But if a black woman find her a rich white man, right on sister. If y'all hmm. really aren't down for black culture and black okay. people, stop dating us. Because it's actually very disrespectful. Hey guys. That's a little hypocritical, don't you think? You see, this is something which... I noticed with Candace Owens, right? People started attacking her just because she was dating or she got married to a white man. And I'm like, isn't that why we were fighting for such a long time? So we can eliminate segregation? So I find it a little bit hypocritical of us to say things like that. But these are females, remember that. These are females and I don't wanna get attacked by black women, but most, a lot of black, women are very emotional so you gotta you gotta sometimes listen to what they say but don't take it don't take all of the information take some of it maybe like a 30 percent 30 percent is good you know but you know black women they say a lot about us that we ain't shit i i think that you ain't shit this and that like loki i love i love me some ghetto girls i'm not even gonna lie about that let's continue watching this is Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to try and figure out if dating preferences are racist or not. But before mm. we start, please make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's mm. talk about interracial couples real quick. Black people, guys and goddesses, date your own species, you feel me? We do not need to be mixed with these other people walking around today. Date your own species, our DNA. These, these other people sounds a little bit like how the whites were to us before. Just a little bit. Just a little, I don't know. They are bloodline is strong, you feel me? Keep your legacy going. Species are white people, not humans? You could have said, date your own race. Mm. This one that I have, I met him in 2014, Bruh. but he wasn't on the market. So in 2016, he was Great on the market. Smooth. Is she serious? Are they both trolling or is this serious? Because if this is serious, that man needs to leave immediately. I decided to see if it was a good investment for me. However, 
the time. Bruh, I know, I know, I say this so many times that like certain white people can be racist, but I'm not even gonna lie, bruh. The snow bunnies, I, I, I love me, I love me a snow bunny. I'm not even gonna lie, bruh. I, I love my black queens, but there's something about the snow bunnies or those white chicks, they're so hot. And it's not even white chicks, Indian chicks are also hot. Asian chicks are hot, like women in general are hot, but white girls, you know, they got it. They do, they, they got it. Like I would say every race have their, their positives and negatives, but white girls, man, like they're, the thing with white girls, which I love so much, <laughs> I, I know I'm gonna get it. It's like, they're so calm. <laughs> They're so calm. I love me a ghetto girl. Don't don't get it don't get it effed up. I love me, I love me a ghetto girl, which is like you ain't shit. Like running her mouth, like you're just like shut the fuck up, you know. But <sighs> sometimes it's 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 nice. It's nice on a Sunday, you know. Just you made some food and it's just calm, you know. <laughs> it's just she's not trying to do too much. She's not trying to. You know, it's just, it's a lot. Dating a beautiful queen, you know, a queen is up here, but you know, dating a queen is a lot. You gotta, you gotta do a lot. You gotta put in the work. But then again, I love me all types of girls. It wasn't really right. So it wasn't until the beginning of 2018 that I purchased this one. Damn. This is why I be against interracial marriages, interracial relationships. Because they don't give a f about you. They're literally using your genetics to keep their gene living. Mm. What? Black guys or white guys? Black guys. Okay, can you uh, elaborate as to why specifically black guys? Yes, black guys are melanated and I want my children to survive. <laughs> Who told you they have to be mixed race to survive? Believe it or not. Okay, this is very interesting actually because I would say out in the jungle, who do you think has the better capacity to survive? That's a that's a great question actually. Leave it in the comment section. Which race do you think would survive out in the jungle? I'd have to go with black people and uh, whites. Blacks because, you know, we're strong and, you know, physically we can take care of ourselves out in the jungle. But I would say white people, they're very, they're very smart. And this is not being racist or anything. It's just like, I know a lot of white people and they, they usually don't want to do any labor. They want other people to do the labor for them. Hence us being slaves for <laughs> a bunch of years. Are countries where there are very very few black people and somehow the white people there exist I know that the only way for them to survive in the future is for them to have melanin in their skin so that, what that, you know make my legacy continue make my legacy continue see I understand that he did not like the first video we saw or the second video too with that woman talking about she wants her children to be mixed race so that they can survive very weird the first one especially if she's not joking I really hope that guy leaves. I don't know why he's doing that. So I totally understand why he would be upset. But when I see videos of black people talking about how they're the superior race and they're gods and goddesses and above white people, yes, that is racist. Yes, that's wrong. You shouldn't be saying that. But that doesn't make me want to go online and say, well, actually, white people date other white people because we're above black people. Because I don't believe that. Now, sure, there are plenty of white supremacists who do believe that, just as there are plenty of black supremacists who do believe that black people are better than white people. Bro, you have to really, really walk a thin line here. I, I get what she's doing. Like, the content is so good. So good. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, it's so good because it's like it's coming from a white woman, which is saying this, and it's like the hypocrisy, this and that. I, I don't care about race, you know, but it's like if we look if we look at history, if we look at history, weren't even allowed to to be in certain places, whites only. And and that's what I'm saying, you know, it's like yes. There's always, 
<laughs> there's always a blood trail when it comes to history. There's always a blood trail. And I, it's, it's not fair to call anybody racist without really knowing that that person's a racist. I think, I think this is maybe one of the messages which I'm going to take from this video specifically. It's a superior race. And this is the perfect example of that. Because this one insane woman is talking about her boyfriend this way, that does not mean that all white women are after black people because they view them as slaves or because they think that their kids need to be mixed race to survive. I'm not sure where you're getting this information from, but that's not how it works. Look at the comments. Black on black love is a must. Facts. I heard this growing up, and I'm from the Caribbean, that the black race is physically stronger than mm. any other race. 100% facts. Mm. Black people are the gods and goddesses. Yeah. What about I don't know about gods and goddesses, but I do know that our penises are way bigger. Way, way bigger. Like, we're not gonna, we're not even gonna have that discussion. It's, that's just facts. I think it's, is it Ghanaians or is it Nigerians? Those guys are... Don't, don't ever, 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 for any reason, let your girlfriend hang out with a Nigerian. If it's a Nigerian, just like, God, just let her go. If she's like, oh, I wanna hang out with Kungu, Lalungu, like just, ah, my guy, you know, like those, you know those burner boy type guys, you know, they, almost like, he's almost like the guy in the video there, you know, that really diesel, masculine, Guy which is just standing there like this and she's like oh my god look at look at this specimen he's so perfect he's so perfect and then the guy's like yeah um yeah i'm i'm like a, a huge ape i'm i'm a i'm a gorilla i'm a silverback gorilla it's like yeah you you look like a silverback gorilla and i i can tell you 100 percent that guy probably doesn't even train he's just he's just got the genetics and you see, the thing is like, I think a lot of women just automatically are attracted to the genetics. That's, you know, just, ju just looking at the guy, you're like, I, I would understand. Like, you'd look at that guy and if your girlfriend were to cheat, you'd, you'd be like, like, what am I supposed to like, look at him? You know, he's, he's built. He's diesel. Like, what am I supposed to say? Mexican women, I can't let that go, someone says. And he replies, LOL, they not us, bro. There's plenty of beautiful black goddesses out here. But what if he likes a Mexican woman? He's not allowed to date her because he has to date another black woman. Why? Facts, I teach my children this. What do you teach your children? How do you feel about interracial shit? White women, if they date a black man, they're wrong. But if a black woman find her a rich white man, right on, sister. Okay, can you explain Ugh. why? I think that black men should be with black women. I don't see why what? you wouldn't want to be. Maybe they fall in love with someone who is not black. Okay, let's... A bit controversial. A bit controversial, but you see, the thing is like... I've noticed a lot of black women, a lot. <laughs> Jesus, this is like... A lot of black women become like super upset when we start dating white women. For some reason, I just, I, I don't know why. And there was like this story of uh, Michael B. Jordan that he, he only apparently dates white women for some reason. And a lot of black women were so disappointed in him. And I get it. I understand because, you know, the way the media works is like they kind of like destroy the image of the black woman so i understand why they can be like super pissed off but if i'm being honest i think as a person you just need to have that confidence you just need to be confident you know like and i that line i think black women just need to <laughs> oh my god I think black women just sometimes just need to be like super confident in themselves and just understand like, nah, I, c I can get myself if, is it a, if it is a white man or black man, doesn't really matter, but just, just be more confident because I feel like it almost like what the media does, it kind of like reflects negatively on them 
and then they start feeling insecure and then they just start lashing out. I, what's the problem? Think about inter relationships. It's okay for like a black girl to mess with a white guy, but not the same thing for a black guy to mess with a white girl. When black girls do it because they genuinely like them, and I feel like when black boys do it, it's just because they're comparing them to black it's people. Like when black girls mess with white guys, it's because like, oh, they like a nice guy, this and this, but whenever it's a white girl, oh, I like snow bunny, like exactly. it's a they be like, I like white girls because black girls can't do this. When black girls like white boys, it's genuine. That part. <laughs> if you just happen to like someone that's a different race, I why does this bother them so much? And they say it's okay if a black woman dates a white man because they want a nice guy. But it's bad if a white woman is with a black man because the black man is always fetishizing the white women mm. and comparing them to black women. Think about interracial mm. relationships. I don't have a problem with them. I think it becomes an issue when you're like, I need mixed babies and it's just weird. I agree with that mm. last girl. Yeah, mm. and I'm sure there are plenty of people who do see it as a... I don't think I could say the word. A bedish, let's say. This is what people that don't support interracial marriages want. What? It's a couple. They're both black, okay? What's the problem? I will never understand interracial dating. Them folks literally had us enslaved for 400 plus years. Did you know that hmm. black people had other black slaves? Did you know that white people had white slaves? Yeah. And did you know that there are other interracial couples, not just black and white? And also, how does that affect couples now if they like each other? Because of slavery in the past, banned interracial marriages and dating. This is very backwards. It's not racist to say you prefer a certain race. Just like it's not <coughs> sexist if you're not attracted to the same sex. So if you just happen to find yourself attracted to one race, okay. But if it's something like, I can never date X race because they're inferior, that's racist. Yeah, that is racist, but what is... Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm ignorant but what is wrong with fetishizing a race like if it turns you on it turns you on it's, it's like i mean it does like it has i mean there's something i don't know me personally maybe i have it like in my jeans or something but it's like there's something about a white woman which is, it's like, it's almost like that forbidden fruit. Like society doesn't want me to even look at her. You know, it's like, don't, don't go there. And you're like, I'm trying to keep my hands to myself, but it's so difficult. It's so, so difficult, you know? And just imagine if you were working with a sexy, beautiful girl and she's white. And you're trying to you're trying to do your work. You're you're sitting there. You have your glasses on. You're a, you're a nerd, and you have your glasses on. And then she comes in, and then she drops a pen, and you're just like, uh, 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 you're just trying to fucking focus, and you're just like, you know. And she's just like, oops. You know that's 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 crazy. It's crazy, but there's nothing wrong with that. So if if you are attracted to that, I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with like I think we have to normalize like, yes, history was a little, you know, it was a little weird and we did do a lot of weird things in history. Men did a lot. Women did a lot. White people did a lot. Black people did a lot. We all did a lot. But I mean, I mean, there's nothing wrong with like. A little race play I mean there's nothing wrong with that you know it's it's playing it's not really like we're gonna go back there it's just like it's it's a kink it's like a little that's at least how I view it but leave in the comment section what do you guys think hmm? maybe do you guys like ra race playing when it comes to under the covers this is like we're on the train on the subway and this african-american lady was just kind of just staring at us i was just like maybe she's staring because she likes my shoes or she huh. likes her shoes or like i don't know <laughs> like i only think the best of people it's time for us to get off the stop savannah walks off the train she kind of like ups and downs me and says she said oh you don't like chocolate oh and like looked at I her didn't hear. she, yeah, she was like, gone oh, yeah. looked at her and like looked at me can we stop comparing people from different races to food chocolate 
white chocolate, mm. <laughs> different flavors. I actually want to vomit a little when I hear that. Let's stop. Here's an older video I found. It says, do you have a racial preference? Researchers analyzed 2.4 million heterosexual interactions on the app, Are You Interested? Men responded three times more often than women. The study revealed that men replied most to Asian women, with the exception of Asian men, who responded most to Latino women. Yeah. It's true, but that's also because it's programmed. Honestly, if we do not have social media and we do not have all the programming happening, I think that just out in nature, no one will be like, oh my God, that's a, oh, that's, nah, bro, you just, it's, it's a woman. If she's, if we're on an island with a bunch of girls, like, let's say it's like five girls, five guys, no one is thinking like, no, like you're just thinking like, okay, physically, then you're thinking like, okay, like how does, how does she look like? Where's the, and where's the, you know, and how does, oh, okay, that, all of that looks good. That's all you're thinking about. You're not doing all of that extra, okay. It's like when you need food, you actually need food to survive. It's not, you're not going to be eating hamburgers and doing all of that. That's why like some dogs, you can leave what, you can leave your hamburger there and the dog isn't going to eat it because he's like, what is that? That that doesn't even smell like food. Why would I have that? That's toxic. So it's the exact same thing. I think in today's society, we just become very picky. Like, oh, I'm gonna take, I'm, I'm gonna take a little salad and I'm gonna take that. Yeah, but you need more to survive out there. All women, except black women, responded most to advances from white men. White women were twice as likely to respond to white men than black men. But white men preferred most other races over white women. Black men responded most- The way that they filmed this is so funny to me. Black men responded most to women of different races, even though black women were three times more likely to reply. Black women are the least replied to group. One in 2.9 men did not know that women on the other hand were very selective even though they were the second least popular female group Middle Eastern women are overwhelmingly the most popular group Middle Eastern men are the least picky most selective yeah okay that's a lot but it's maybe because Middle Eastern women are very submissive maybe that's it I don't I think we're doing mental gymnastics right now demographics for South and East Asian women. Users tended to date within their own race, with the exception of Asian women. Yeah, statistically, the most popular interracial like setup is Asian woman and uh, white man. And guess what? I'm not out here looking at the white guy saying you're a traitor. You don't like white chocolate? Ew. Okay, I'm never saying that again. Oh, you don't like chocolate? You're a traitor. You're this and that. Why would I care if a lot of white men like the Asian women and vice versa? Good for you. I, I don't get it. Why are we mad? Does having a racial preference when dating make us racist? No. Most people prefer to date someone that's the same race as them. That's not an opinion, it's a fact. Based on the behavior of 25 million users of this online dating site. Which raises an obvious question that no one really wants to ask. Does having a racial preference make us racist? I don't think so. I think people just tend to date within their own race. You love the beauty of black women, which I can't blame you. You love the aesthetic. You love our bodies. But the problem is a lot of y'all don't even like black people. The black women who have literally experienced being called the N word by the white man that they're dating. Let's talk about <laughs> white men that have literally had children by black women but can't stand black people. Strange situation if you chose to marry a black woman, have children with a black woman and hate black people and say the n-word. I don't know how often this happens. I have not seen any examples of this. But what I have seen is black people go online and say that they are in a relationship with a white man and then continue to call white people these very creative names that they make up. Bleach demon and obviously hate white people. Just don't date people that are racist. Cause y'all been doing this since, since slavery and even before. Bruh, I love a girl which runs her mouth. I love a girl which just runs her mouth. You're like, shut the up.
I love that, bro. She's just, you ain't, you ain't got no, oh my God. I'm like, bro, what is, it? I don't know. Maybe there's psychologically something wrong with me, but bro, when she's running her mouth, I'm just like, my God, my God. And, and if it's a white woman, which is running her mouth, I'm kidding, I'm joking. I'm just joking, God. Don't cancel me, please. I want to keep my YouTube channel, please. I just started. I just, I'm like, please don't, don't. Thing. Yeah, because we haven't forgotten. We we ain't forgot. So y'all need to stop. If y'all really aren't down for black culture and black mm. people, stop dating us. Because it's actually very disrespectful and it's hurtful. Okay, this is a clip from the Whatever podcast. Is it racist to have a racial dating preference? Which one race you ladies wouldn't date? Black. Asian. I've never found an Asian guy attractive. And it's just preference. Me too. Like, I just never have. I used to not find Asian Asians attractive, but like now I do. I think it's more so like they can relate to me more with like culture and everything mm -hmm. like that. So like me personally, I really like, I I like dating Asian guys. I Man, these girls are really smart. Like, just listen to them. They're like really really smart. I feel like I go through phases. Like I've had. <sighs> I've had an Asian chapter and I had like a white chapter. Damn. Asian chapter. Damn. In my white era, in my Asian era. There are statistics that Asian men are more discriminated against in dating it is, apps. It is true. And this is kind of proof. It well, is. Bring them all to me. You know, this surprises me, especially what about like K-pop? I've known people in my life who were obsessed with K-pop, with the BTS members. Also, excuse my lack of knowledge of uh, K-pop and BTS, but I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of the members are Asian, right? Like Korean. And I know that they're very popular in America, but basically all over the world now. So I don't know, That's I that surprises me. But maybe the problem is that it's just K-pop that people talk about. But yeah, I think they agree that it's not racist, which is good. Can you be pro-black and you date black? <laughs> Absolutely not. Because when you marry a white woman, you're marrying into her community. Oh you don't just marry God. a woman. You marry the family and you marry the community. So how can you be... 50-50. 50% right, 50% wrong. I, I do agree with him, some of the things that he says. But that's 50%. It's not gonna be like Tate, bro. Once I said that, like, I agree with 50% wrong. Oh, oh you, you're ever Tate! Oh, oh my God. You know, Shit, like, no, take it easy. Like, that's not what I'm saying. Like, oh. just sometimes, just a little bit, I agree. It's like, or, or maybe just not. No, I don't, don't run your mouth. The African people marrying African into people. the group that has historically and systemically okay. oppressed your people. You cannot marry a white woman and not be loyal to the white agenda against African people. Do you have a racial pressure? I used to be strictly white meat. White, what? But now I'm like, okay, what, you know? It's just one part of a spectrum of so many. Wait, he's not vegan? That's weird. Flavors. Flavors. Ew. Flavors. It's like, why would you just want one flavor? What was it like the first time you dated somebody outside of your race? Yeah, those relationships uh, are weird. Yeah, I tried vanilla in high school. Uh. It didn't click. Vanilla? I'm queer and pan, so I just really am attracted to like person. Okay, but what race does the pan have to be? Made a show of going on a date with a woman from every state. And let me just show you why he's getting a lot of hate. Oh my God. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> oh my God, never attack a woman's appearance. Don't do it guys, don't. I know like you wanna get the jokes off, but you just, like you wanna, listen, there's a reason why I turn off my phone, I go to sleep, just because bruh, women, when, they, when they're when they emotional, ah, you're like, oh my God, like. That he's going on so many dates. Yeah, I mean, he likes white women. If he was dating only black women, would you have a problem with it then? The part that's gagging me gagging. is that there are people in the comments trying to convince me that they are able to find one that looks the most attractive out of all those girls. They all look the same. It's weird, it's like you wanna be everyone's type, 
but it's just not gonna happen. Show about dating in every single fucking state. I do not want to see blonde hair, blue eyes for every single. Fucking. I want to see black girls, Hispanic girls, Asian girls, uh, Arabic girls. I want to see freaking Indian girls. One second. Not everything has to be DEI. And that's all for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay. Um, very gorgeous girl. I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, yeah, based. I really like the video. She did not say anything crazy. I kind of wanted her to go a little crazy, like nuclear, just do it so I can react to it. But it was a good video. But anyway, guys, like, comment, and share, and tell me what you guys think. Do you have a preference or do you think that that's racist? Leave it in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>